today's video is a trip to Atlixco. It's about an hour outside of uh, Puebla. And it's a nice little town. It's a nice little touristy town. They're trying to make it more touristy. They're trying to get more folks to spend their cash down here. It's known for flowers. So let's get started with the video. Let's start off with uh, me getting on the uh, bus and in Puebla and headed to the bus station. From bus to bus to here and walking around. I think so. Hope you like the video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them below. I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share uh, again. Muchos, muchos gracias a todos los días. So let's get on with my little video on Atlixco. Hope you like it. Today we're headed to uh, Atlixco. In the background, you hear a uh, youth uh, playing a video game on his phone. On some of our adventures, we, people jump on the bus or the uh, combi and they start playing guitar and ask for cash. Sometimes people jump on and try to sell you some chow. Today we're just taking the combi. Then it's going to drop us off at uh, the main bus station. What's the main bus station called again? Capu. Capu, C-A-P-U. And we're going to walk across the street to Capu and then we're going to buy a ticket and we're going to head to Atlixco. This bus uh, trip here about a block from our uh, you know, Airbnb. There's uh, eight pesos each. Very affordable, very affordable. So we go down the uh, lower socioeconomic areas of uh, Puebla. We'll be there in about a half hour. It takes quite a while because it makes a lot of stops and and there's a lot of stop signs and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Finally, we're at the uh, CAPU, Kapu. Quite a bit of traffic. Quite a few shops. Over there, they actually have a nice building with the train stations. I mean, the bus stations, rather. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just right down the road here. So let's get across the street here, sweetie. And uh, make sure we don't get run over. When you're in Mexico, you gotta watch out for little ditches, divots, and people that don't uh, forget to stop. So here's a prime example of a spot here that you gotta be careful of. Right there. So we're gonna follow all these people inside to the bus station. We're finally uh, at the bus station. It's a bit crowded. We had to cross a, a very busy street, etc., etc. They do have sanitarios, bathrooms, shops here. And here's a McDonald's right next to me on the right. See, quite crowded. They have buses coming this way, buses coming on the other side. So we're going to go inside and catch a bus to Atlixco. Again, this is in Puebla, the bus station. Much, much more popular than the airplane. The airport. So buses are more popular. Planes. So we're inside. Get your shoe shine. And they have everywhere around there's place to eat. No places to sit. Zero places to sit. But you can get your tickets here and we're gonna go right over there. 
we can get ourselves a ticket. Wish us luck. And then we're gonna go down there and go all the way over there, the tail end, good uh, 300 yards, and uh, wait for the bus. It smells nice in here. It smells like uh, nice uh, pan dulce, sweet bread. So we're going to Oro. We have different spots here, and on the far left is Atlixco. Atlixco. While uh, waiting for the bus and dragging your bag or your uh, suitcase, you can wait at Church's Chicken, get some chicken. You can go to Tortas, or you can go to Pasteles. You get some pasteles here, nice little pastries here. One thing uh, Puebla is known for is pasteles, muchos pasteles. Pasteles left and right, everywhere you want to go, they sell pastries. That's where I get the uh, bad habit. What's over there? Places to sit down. Oh, yeah, but let's go sit in the sit actually in our friend our area. Yeah, isn't it amazing? Yeah, it is. Yeah. See that yesterday? I didn't see that yesterday. They actually have seats here. I thought they didn't have seats, but they do have seats. So let's go over here. We're, we're over here on the right. And they have Rincon Poblano, Domino's Pizza. Now that's a good size sandwich. That's a good size sandwich. We got some cheese, onions, avocado, bread, cilantro, more cheese. And you got yourself a, a here at the uh, bus station, Deli Mart. Get yourself some snacks. So, if you ever come down here and want to catch a bus to go somewhere, everywhere from Oaxaca to Mexico City to Tijuana, you can go everywhere from this bus station. Uh, you know. Just get yourself some snacks and you're ready to go. So we're way, 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 way down there. So see you in a bit. So now we're waiting for the bus for at Dick's school. This is the spot. We're going to be waiting, and let me show you outside, just to give you an idea what the buses look like outside. These are all the major uh, bus companies. Cost us, again, 40 pesos. Typically around town, it costs us anywhere from 16, 18 to 20 pesos. But to go to Adlixco, they're charging us uh, some extra monies. So here's the bus station. It says Acatlan. Oh, whatever in towns. <clears throat> Cuernavaca. Again, you could go all the way to Tijuana, walk around, and uh, take some pictures and uh, have some fun. All the way to Tijuana, to the border. No problem. Take a bus. Why not? If you got the uh, bowels for it. <laughs> uh, most of these buses, you got to make sure the bus actually has a toilet. Some of them don't. So, this person is ready to go. Look at it. They're bringing a lot of stuff. And there's my wife checking out the itinerary, reading stuff, etc. etc. We're on the bus that left. Uh, Puebla, and now we're getting pretty close to Atlix School. Went on a highway for quite a while. It was very nice, very smooth. This is a very comfortable bus. My wife and I definitely enjoyed it. In comparison to walking, you know, 15, 20,000 steps. Some folks are getting ready to get off. Etc. Etc. So, here's a view from the side of the road. Alixo is known for its uh, flower production. It does have uh, other, you know, jobs, but uh, it's best known for its flower production. Looks like they're building some new stuff here. This 
that's the bus station we got dumped off at. No. In, uh, I'd like to go. We're gonna walk down this way to go to the uh, central downtown. We haven't had any breakfast, any coffee, anything uh, this morning because uh, we didn't want to have to go to the restroom on the bus. <laughs> That was the plan. So next next stop for Annie and I in Atlixco is to have a coffee, a breakfast, and that's Annie in front of me. We're in that leak school finally, downtown, the central area. We have the sign here, they have tourist tours here, they have a Christmas display. Christmas was a couple days ago in that Feliz Navidad sign, etc. They have a Christmas tree, etc. etc. All the touristy things you'll ever, ever, ever want. And here's the Presidente Juarez. Uh, Biblioteca Municipal Public Library. So, you can walk around this whole thing. There's a coffee shop, this Italian coffee shop, etc., etc. We're going to probably go that way, get something to eat. Or maybe we'll go this way and get something to eat. I don't know. First, got to find my wife. She ran off already. She already got lost. Where is Annie? Annie, where are you? Hmm, I have no idea. Oh, there she is. Thank God. So it looks like we're going to go to the Italian Coffee Company, get some coffee. This lady's cleaning up the street. She's doing a great job. What do you think? She's doing pretty good? I think she's doing an excellent job. Wish she was over my house helping out. She's working hard, huh? People hanging out on the bench. And of course, uh, this guy right here, he's hauling around cleaning stuff. Doing a great job. This, some folks here are getting ready to shine some shoes. This lady over here is selling some uh, sweets. And this person's getting their shoe done. Look at that. Look at that. Muy bueno. Okay, I'm gonna go. My wife wants to go have coffee. I better go get coffee. She's getting a little impatient with me. Here we go. My coffee, personally. So, how do you like uh, the coffee at uh, this? What's the place called? The Italian Coffee Italian Company. Italian Coffee Company. It's the first time we've been to this particular restaurant, so I'm excited to try it, perhaps in Pueblo, to see if there's a difference. This seems a bit run down. Uh, even though the gentleman was quite good and very fast, but the it, coffee, this coffee, just the plain Americano, is a bit weak. So it's just like strong coffee because I. Yeah, we're used to strong coffee. My husband, I, I uh, spoiled him with really strong coffee. Yeah, when we make it at home, uh, I make it a pour over, and I put some extra coffee before I put the hot water over it. Yes. And I like it nice and strong. Yes, and so this is acceptable coffee. But it's not strong. Mine, however, I'm drinking some of Jesus, so we can put some. Yeah, she's doing me a big favor this by, look, there's Annie's. This is mine. He what is that? It's an Americano. And there's mine. She's drinking some of mine. And uh, she, you should drink this. she likes a black coffee. I, I tolerate it. At home, she drinks black coffee yeah, all the time. There you go. I think you should drink that. So we're going to be going down that alley over there. We came in from this way through the little park to the right. And we're now going to go to the alley, but first we're going to take our coffees and we're going to sit in the little placita over there. It should be a lot of fun. So, did you pour some in there already? No, I just gave you my... You should, just try my coffee, please. There's a dog over there. Very nice. So, what are you thinking about eating? 
are considering? Well, I noticed that the menu has huevos aztecs again, which is something I saw the other day. But I'm not really sure what's contained in there. I'm thinking of huevos. Yeah, my wife's a vegetarian. Thinking of huevos a la mexicana or omelet Popeye, which is uh, with uh, spinach and mushrooms. So that's a possibility. Yeah. So that sounds good. I'm, I was just thinking about getting chilaquiles, basically chips and eggs and yeah, whatever. Yeah, your choices, honey. Yeah, we have a lot of choices. I probably get the verdes. Keep it simple. Tomatillo. Who's, who's making this? Oh, this guy over here was a guy with a flu. That guy right there was with a flu. So. so, we'll see how it works out. I'll show some pictures of the food in a bit. Protein extra. We're at Lixco, it says uh, go this way for the Palacio Municipal, go that way for the Zocolo, go that way up to the hill to the Capilla and Fuente Maquil Chochclil. I think that's how he said. So this guy's bringing some towels. Finally, I've been waiting for those towels. And, just, and we've got these uh, nice little decorations. We've got a church there, and way up there in the mountain, there's another church. So you have quite a few church, and of course right there you have another church. So you have church, 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 church. And then you go down the street, there's another church. Go down that way, there's another church. So this church is everywhere in this dang town. So there you go. I'll let you sit here for a second and check a view. Enjoy the sounds of uh, Atlixco. Essentially similar sounds to any urban center. Sounds of motorcycles, scooters, automobiles. Won't be for another 30, 40, 50 years before things get a little quieter with electric vehicles. So we're gonna go heading, we're heading that way. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. We're at the Capilla de la Tercera Orden, 13th Order. So, uh, very beautiful, very beautiful facade, bar relief as they might call it. I'll go up a little further, I'll show you. What do you think? I have my camera stuck between the bars because I can't get in. Let me uh, straighten out the camera. There we go. Very nice. This is the San Martin Hostel. I find the wall, the decaying infrastructure, rather interesting. Go up the hill. I don't know where that guy's going. It's a bag of something. So, there we are. And there's some folks here doing selfies. She has some nice boots. And then we turn around and there's Annie going. How's it going, sweetie? Ready to go up the hill? I'm Do you want to go up the hill, first of all? Yes. You actually want to go up the hill? Of course. You know, it's well, it's in a lifetime, darling. Okay, Gotta let's do it. Okay, let's go. Just do it. We're gonna go. I just go. wanted to see this because it's so beautiful. I was hoping to get to it. Yeah, there's some it's potted cool. plants along the side here. That's very interesting. I find that interesting. People are going up the hill. I don't know. It's the top of the hill. Maybe it's headed towards the church. Like lemmings, we're all headed that way. We'll see how it works out. a shot of another church definitely an old facade 
My wife's over there on the right. Let's go find out the name. She'll be over here on the left in a little blue placard. It says uh, Templo de Santa Maria de la Asuncion. Beautiful exterior. I like the uh, vintage exterior. It's probably been painted quite a few times. Let's walk this way. So you see, sweetie. Um, an open area. Mm -hmm. Little old patio area. Here's some information: a wooden mm -hmm. cross, a mosaic of a wooden cross. Here's the entrance. Oficina parroquial, the parochial office. ¿Cómo estás? And uh, there's the entrance. Ready to go to the mercado? Yes, te digo. Follow you. Annie, are you going to go in or not? Well, let's go in. You missed the dancers. Oh, missed that. Who knows? Let's go this way. Nice bike right there. We're in the Atlixco. What are the mercados in At Atlixco? Get some salsa, some tacos. As usual, I'm behind my wife. Selling some odds and ends here. Nothing I plan to take home. I decided before I took this trip that I wasn't gonna buy anything. Zero, zilch, nothing. Other than food and bus tickets, beverages. I wasn't gonna bring anything. I did, I am bringing home one shopping bag. That's about it. We got these little kitchens here. This little green guy right here. Ladies cooking some tortillas. I got some stuff here. Kids are playing video games. Some guys are playing. Same right here. They're looking at their phones. These people are hanging out. You turn. Regreso. <laughs> I'm following her, wherever she's going. I let her lead because she's a little slower than me. I tend to go too fast. Okay. See that lady right there? She looks just like my mom. Exactly like my mom. She looks... Wow. Seriously? Estaba diciendo a ella que miras exactamente como mi mamá. 
acá? Exactamente. Mi padre era güero, pero mi mamá era... <laughs> Stuff. Muy bonito. Muy bonito. Look at this one, sweetie. Sunflower. Sunflower. This is um, Gerber daisies. Gerber daisies? Gerber, this, these ones, Gerber daisies. Uh-huh. Because the, they're like the daisies, only they're very uh, the color, different colors. Okay, thank you very Sometimes much. Sometimes they're called black-eyed Susans. Black-eyed Susans. Yeah. We're at the uh, Lixco Mercado. Just thought I'd show you a bit of the color. Some of the fresh vegetables. These are not, uh, you know, just uh, processed foods. These are real foods. Lettuces, tomatoes, cabbage, tomatillo. Right there is tomatillo. Got some big chiles right there. Grapes, cebollas, onions, small potatoes, some calabacitas, some uh, squashes, some are really chopped, zanoria, right down there, zanoria, and this lady in her little outfit, mother's outfit. Mother's in the kitchen outfit. Again, tomatillo, aguacate, or avocado. And there's a gentleman selling the stuff back there. Got some chiles, red, green, lime, some uh, bell peppers, small. Got the whole range of stuff here. And we got some more. Right over there. We're on the autobus. They're playing some uh, movie on the big screen over there tiny screen Elysium I think it's called of course it's uh, dubbed in Spanish so we're headed from uh, Atlixco back to uh, Puebla it takes about an hour from what I understand maybe it's an hour and a half it's a long drive this is better than uh, the local uh, transport, the city buses, the city uh, combis, as they call them, these little vans. Much better. We're at the uh, Capu, C-A-P-U, uh, bus station. My wife's in the restroom right over there. And eventually she's going to come out. And then we can go up that way. And then go to the street eventually. And uh, catch the, I think it's the 12A bus, if we can find it. And that goes pretty close to where we look, you know, are staying at our bed and breakfast. We did take one uh, recently back, and it dropped us off about two miles from our <laughs> bread, and, you know, bed and breakfast. Not a bed and breakfast, you know, Airbnb. And it wasn't uh, a good experience, especially on a busy market day. And the streets were super, 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 super crowded. So we'll see what happens. Wish me luck.
Annie and I are trying to catch a bus back to our uh, Airbnb. Sometimes I call it a bed and breakfast, but it ain't. It's not a hotel either, it's an Airbnb. So uh, we walked uh, north a bit for about a uh, half a mile. Didn't find a bus stop that met our needs. It's, so it just, uh, after looking at our uh, Google Maps, says, go back to where you came from, go further down. We were down there last time, that area, and it was, uh, I'm trying to look behind me, trying to get my ass run over. Uh, here we go, we're gonna run, I'm gonna run. There, I made it, and I didn't get killed. It's pretty good. So it's starting to drizzle a little bit, and so I'm gonna walk about a half mile that way along this busy road. Over on our right is the uh, Kapu bus station. And the bad part is we have to go through some stupid little mercado. Not a nice mercado, not an elegant mercado, just a rough and tumble mercado. And then we're going to, uh, we have to go through that for about three, four, five blocks. And then finally get to an area where they have some Buses. Let me turn on the camera sure where we're headed. At least try. Okay, there we are. There we are. There's a bit of sidewalk. So over there is uh, Kapu, this area over here. On this side, this uh, fence. And we're headed that way for about 10, 15 minutes. Should be fun, huh? Yes. Let's go. Wow, it took a while to cross that street. We gotta be careful. Gotta look both ways. Gotta look all 10 ways. Good luck, huh? So that's my video on Atlixco, uh, Mexico. Part of the state of Puebla. Hope you liked it. Again, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. Again, my take on uh, YouTube videos, travel videos, is I don't just go to the trendy, expensive places where people with a lot of cash go. I go to places that are relatively uh, lower socioeconomic, affordable. Places I like, I can deal with. I can deal with uh, poor people. Some of you can't deal with poor people. Some of you can deal with a little bit of mess. I can. I'm used to it. I've been all over Mexico, south, east, west, north, border towns, central towns, coastal towns, the list goes on. Again, thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and leave your kind and friendly comments below. And don't forget to ring the little bell for future notifications. Muchas gracias a todos ustedes from Atlixco. Hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you're at. Gracias. Adios.